good student of economics who will be preparing for an exam, both internal and external. Definition of economics by Leonel Robbins is one of the fundamental things. Of course, there are many other ways to define economics, both according to Adam Smith, according to many other popular and renowned economists, but this particular definition by Ronnie Robbins is very vital, especially for you if you are still in secondary school and most uh, tertiary institutions. So let's look at Ronnie Robbins and his definition, and also I will explain them for you in simple terms. What you need to know about this man, Ronnie Robbins, is that he was a British economist and head of the economic department of the London School of Economics. He is known for his proposed definition of economic, economics and for his instrument, instrumental effort in shifting anglo saxon economics from its Marshallian direction. That is just a brief about who René Rebens is. Let's look at how he defines economics before I now take you to explanation of what those things mean. You need to know this definition. Look, I'm sure you can look at it, see it very well. In case you are writing Wayek, Neko, Jamba, or any other examination in your country, this definition is very, very important. He says, economic is that science which studies the relationship between ends, limited resources which have alternative uses. Economics is a science that studies relationship between end limited resources which has alternative uses therefore we're going to explaining this his definition i want you to do three things right now and for you to do those three things remember i will send you materials on economics if you need me to send you past questions whether wayek past question neko past question jam past question on economics just uh, subscribe just do this three things subscribe to our youtube channel or if you are writing Jamba, you want me to send the syllabus. If you are writing Neko, you want me to send the syllabus on any subject, mathematics, English, if you need the timetable, any resources you need. Or if you need to join our study group, just do these three things right now. Like this video, put the like button immediately right now. Then subscribe to this YouTube channel, Noble Tutorials. Then comment, comment under this video and say, I have subscribed. Once you do that, you can ask me anything you want me to send to you. If you also want to join our online study group for people like you, you are also permitted. Okay. Now, let's look at explaining that definition. He said, Lenny Robbins said, economics is a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scat means, which could have alternative uses. He said, economics is a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which could have alternative uses now explaining this definition the main ideas and points robin this one is that human wants are unlimited that what we need as humans are unlimited the things human need both for factors of production both for Industrial needs, both for personal needs, are unlimited. People need a lot of things. According to Robert, all human beings have much more to satisfy. These ones are never ending. When you get this one, you want another one. So there is always increasing need of humans. Okay? Now, the second point, which I'm explaining is, is means and resources of satisfying those human needs are scarce. Those things we need are many. But Ronnie Robbins is saying the method or the means or the resources to satisfy those our needs are limited. There are not many. The third point from this definition is choice of, choice of wants. All wants are not of equal importance. The things we need are not of equal importance. Some are so urgent and they're satisfied as soon as possible. Some wants are not urgent and they are postponed for a day or a week or a month or a year also. So human beings make ranking of wants or priority order of wants on the basis of urgency of needs. 
Everyone in society suffers from problem of choice due to scarcity of resources, and scarcity of resources is the root cause of economic problem. The root cause of economic problem is that resources are scarce and our needs and wants are many, much more than the resources. Okay? Now, look at this. He said, alternative use of resources. Resources are available to satisfy the ones that are scarce, but resources can be used to satisfy any of the ones among unlimited ones. Scarce resources are used either to satisfy this one or to satisfy that one. So, because this, the resources are scarce, we cannot choose to prioritize them. Okay, I'll use it to do this, I'll use it to do this. Somebody can need, okay, I need to pay my school fees, I need to register for work. I need to pay for excursion, I need to do this, this, that. But I can say, oh, the most important thing, I and all of this that you need, you may need about, say, 300,000. But you, what you have is 80,000. You can say, okay, let me write my work, or let me register for NECO, and say work hard. So the things we need are many, but the resources, the money, the means to meet them are small, okay? Look at this. It's a sign which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means, which have alternative uses. Remember, like I said, economics is a sign which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means, which could have alternative uses. I need you to know this as we prepare for your exam. By the way, like I said earlier, we have an online study group that you can join others to study both people in your class, both those that are writing Wayak Neko Jam. We have an online study group that you can join. If you want to join, just do these things I said. Like this video right now. Subscribe to this YouTube channel immediately. Then share this video to your friends. After you have done that, come under this comment and tell me that you are subscribed. Once you tell me you are subscribed, I will tell you how to join the study group. I wish you all the best in your internal and external exam. You can also, when you comment, you can also tell me the particular exam you are preparing for. Remember, like we said, which I never want you to forget is that economics is a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which could have alternative uses subscribe right now like this video comment and i will keep talking to you and sending you other help and materials that will help you